It was the perfect evening for a bike ride, or so I thought. I had always loved the thrill of cycling through the quiet woods, feeling the wind in my hair, and the sense of freedom that came with it. Little did I know that this bike ride would turn into a nightmarish experience I would never forget. I pedaled along the winding road, the rhythmic sound of the chain and the tires on the asphalt soothing my nerves. The forest on either side of the road loomed ominously, the trees casting eerie shapes in the fading light. It wasn't long before I realized I had ventured deeper into the woods than I had ever been before. My heart began to race and I considered turning back, but something compelled me to continue. As the darkness enveloped the road, I saw a faint, flickering light up ahead. Curiosity got the better of me, and I pedaled faster, hoping to find some sign of civilization. The light grew brighter, revealing an old, dilapidated house that seemed to emerge from the shadows like a ghostly apparition. I cautiously approached the house, my bike's tires crunching on the gravel driveway. The place looked like it had been abandoned for years. The windows shattered, and the paint peeling off in grotesque strips. It was the kind of place you'd only find in a horror movie. With a sense of unease, I dismounted and left my bike by the front porch. The air was thick with an eerie silence, broken only by the creaking of the house in the wind. I stepped up to the front door, its weathered wood groaning in protest as I pushed it open. Inside, the house was filled with a suffocating sense of decay. The wallpaper hung in tatters and the floorboards creaked ominously underfoot. I could hear faint whispers like voices carried on the wind and a chill ran down my spine. As I ventured further into the house, I came across a room filled with old family photographs. The faces in the pictures were twisted in anguish and their eyes seemed to follow me as I moved through the room. It was as though the walls themselves were alive, bearing witness to some unspeakable horror. I hurriedly left the room and continued to explore. In the dim light, I stumbled upon a basement door slightly ajar. A sense of dread gnawed at me, but I couldn't resist the urge to descend into the darkness. The wooden stairs creaked loudly with each step I took, and the air grew colder the deeper I went. In the basement, I found a small, candle-lit chamber. It was adorned with strange symbols etched into the walls, and in the center of the room, a gruesome sight awaited me. There, lying on a blood-soaked table, was a mutilated corpse, its eyes wide open, staring into eternity. Panicking, I rushed back up the stairs and fled the house, leaving my bike behind. I pedaled as fast as I could, my heart pounding, and my mind racing with the horror I had witnessed. The road that had once felt like an escape now seemed like a nightmarish trap, and I could feel an unseen presence behind me, urging me to turn back. I finally burst out of the woods and onto a well-lit street. I didn't look back, and I didn't stop until I reached the safety of my home. To this day, I can't forget the horrors I encountered on that ill-fated bike ride, and I can't help but wonder what malevolent force lurked within that old, abandoned house in the woods. If you liked the story, don't forget to like and subscribe.